All right, everybody, we're changing things up today on St. Andrew TV, and I'm going to be a bad boy today. We're not going to play by the rules. You have to, because, you know, see that star? It's the sheriff of Limestone County. All right, but seriously, guys, thank you for tuning back into St. Andrew TV. The title of this video is pretty self-explanatory. We are going to spin cock this lever action rifle. However, I do not have a barrel that is short enough for me to do you know the up and over otherwise i am going to be one collarbone lighter we're going to do something else today which i've also seen in a western i do not remember the name but i will put a clip of it in here so you guys get the grasp of what we're doing You're gonna snap your wrist back and you're gonna cock it and bring it back up. This will just be a part one because once I get like a mayor's leg or something like that with a bigger lever loop, I will show you guys how to do the up and around towards your torso. Today is just gonna be the simple one with a normal Winchester 94 with a 20 inch barrel and I'm gonna show you a cool way to spin cock it. It's gonna be a little more difficult for me today because I, like I said, I do not have a large lever loop. We're gonna do our best with what we've got. So what's the first thing we're gonna do on St. Andrew TV? We're gonna check if the gun is unloaded. I'm just gonna run a few times through the lever action process and we are empty. This thing is good to go. Now, if you have a Winchester 94 or a 73 or whatever Winchester model, that is a lever gun. I always, to make things easier myself, cock it first while the gun is unloaded. When I do it, this piece can come back here and it doesn't have to self cock itself when you're doing the spin. But the spin goes like so. Cocked, ready to fire, just like that. So the first thing I do, we're gonna do it center because I have the most room this way, is we are gonna cock it to make that mechanism come back easier so it doesn't self-cock. We're gonna get a good grip on that lever. This is gonna be very strenuous on your wrist and put a lot of tension there. This is a heavier gun, so this is something you're not gonna to wanna to do all day, but it's a cool little trick. You're gonna snap your wrist down as hard as you can because that lever is not going to give all that much. There you go. You heard it click, so it's ready to rock and roll, and it's ready to fire. So let's try slow-mo. You really have to send this thing down. This is not a little flick and, you know, the gun will come down, cock itself, and come back up. This has got to be a, you know, a snap. You were well taught. This is how you throw a football or a baseball. Snap your wrist real hard, you know? Something like that. So I'm going to do it from this side. Hopefully I don't hit anything in the process. I might have to take an angle like that so I don't hit my humidor because if I drop all my cigars, I'm going to quit YouTube and I'm going to go into a state of disrepair. So keep it out, snap, up. So slow-mo. Oh, that was a pretty good one. How about I turn a, bit, a little bit this way and kind of send it back like that so you can see my full range of motion in my arm. Make sure it's not going to hit anything. Just like so. Do a few slow-mos. Something like that. The wrist is the most important part of this one for the fact that you are snapping it down and then you're ripping it back up. You're going to want to hear that click at the climax of your spin. I can't see behind me, but it'll probably be almost in this position here when you're snapping it back up into your hand. Not the best way to cock your lever gun. It's a pretty cool way. Yeah, so you can even do this with a firearm in your other hand if you get really good at this. Practice by pointing at an enemy over there. Out of your peripheral vision, you see a guy come to your right side and you're like, oh man, I got to reload. Yeah, something like that. Well, I am exhausted. Let's shelf this guy right here. That was the bad boy episode of St. Andrew TV. Uh, I don't think it's gonna be too long a video, but there's really not a bunch to unpack because this is kind of the tier two version of spin cocking the lever action rifle. Like I said in the beginning, once I get a mayor's leg, I'll teach you how to do the one from like your thigh position and bring it up and around the one that falls into your torso and back up and it's cocked and ready to rock and roll. Yeah, it's pretty cool. 
Just another fancy gun spinning trick. Except this one was with a long arm instead of our, you know, trusty pistols here. I hope the little bit of variety I splashed in today was a breath of fresh air because we've only usually handled revolvers. So I brought a lever gun, a long arm into the equation. A little tired. I don't need to work out the rest of the week. Not that it looks like I do anyway. Anyway, if you like the video, hit that thumbs up at the bottom of the page. Please leave a comment because I like to get back to all of them and I love reading the stuff. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed. We are jumping and jumping each and every day and it really does warm my heart because it shows that there are a lot more people out there like me and it's nice to have a community that shares the same hobbies as I do. But if you have not subscribed, that is against county law. I'm not telling you what to do. You can either hightail out of here or you can subscribe because you're a daisy if you do.